Welcome back to the Garage YouTube. First thing I'm going to do is give some shout outs. Nick Ferry. Thanks a lot, buddy. I'm going to put you in there on the wall. Um, some other shout outs that I want to do is uh, Jay Bates. Uh, watched your two videos on planes. Um, never thought I'd use this. Got it for nothing. No, I'm knocking the wood down with it. I, it's got some fine tuning and I got some work to do, but yeah. Anyway. Uh, other guy I want to give a shout out to is Ryan Hubbard. Uh, we've been conversing a little bit. Um, thanks, bud. I appreciate it. He's got YouTube and Instagram. Uh, Ryan Hubbard. Also, on uh, Instagram, we have Wesley Treat. Thanks, thanks, bud. Uh, talented guy out of Texas. And uh, Josh Clemen. Um, Josh, I just want to want to thank you for. Uh, the support um, there out of Canada and uh, your inspiration. I, I appreciate you. I, I do. Uh, you know, it takes his time, 15 hour days, and he takes time to talk with me at night and give me advice and tells me what I should do. Thanks, boss. So, what we're going to talk about now is the garage. I started off in a carport. I built two end tables out of bunks from the lumber yard, four foot long. I ripped them up, cut them up, glued them together under a carport. My tools were basic hand tools, I think a drill, a delta table saw, which I sold it just as soon as I, as soon as I bought it because um, it didn't have room. But that's what I started off with. That's the first thing that I built that was decent. Then, we lived in this like chicken coop shack house that had no garage or storage. I built a 10 by 12 shed on 4 by 6s out of scraps and cutoffs. Um, I had a piece of rubber roofing that I got from a commercial job. Because um, when I moved it, I had to cut the roof off because it was too tall, so I rubber roofed it. So I, anyway, I started, out, I started working out of that my tool collection got bigger and then we moved it to moved it to the next apartment and uh, man I, I built some shelves and um, some custom shelves some corner shelves for the TV to set on um, some desk stuff and and then we moved it from there to a two lot house, city lot a house and I worked out of it and uh, built up my tools and here I am in the garage the garage, it's longer, the, the garage part that I'll work in, it's, it's bigger because of the man cave. The garage part is 17 by 14. And then the back of that, there's another 7 foot 7 inches by 14. And I built a man cave. This was just a big garage. I built a man cave. And once the man cave was done, I started doing this. And it's ongoing. I keep changing my mind, keep getting stuff, keep rearranging. But now I've got a decent table saw, air compressor, chop saw, shot vac, two skill saws, two ro routers. Um, I just bought the bar clamps, got bar clamps, got my toolbox, sander and a planer, joiner. You can do it. It takes time. It's not going to happen overnight. I've been here, I think, for going on four years here in Lansing. And uh, I'm loving it. So you, you, you can do it. You, you can do it. So, yeah, get to it. If you want to do it, get to it. Well, we're back. Um, this is the next day. I've got a, a bunch of stuff going on. So I've got two tables in an entertainment center that I'm trying to get knocked out. I got the top. I got the top done for the biggest one. I got the legs ripped up. I got to glue those up. And then I want I bought a new dowel jig for the next one. Guy picked up his Jenga last night. And then I got the barn wood that I want to try to process for the, the entertainment center. And I've got a commission that I got to start and I'd like to use the same stuff. So I, I, I was gonna, 
I was gonna do a all the way through video for the one table, but there's just so much I gotta get done that, uh, and I, I still gotta get the rest of the barn wood out of the, out of the back of the Jeep. And a friend called me and said that he's got more wood for me, and he may be bringing that by later on today. So I gotta I gotta get it in gear and uh, get this stuff going. So I'm gonna get back with you. Uh, I'll probably do quite a few videos and uh, just post them every day and let you know the progress. So I've got these right here that I'm going to glue up for the legs and for the runners. Um, I don't think I'm going to put a skirt on this one because this, i got to take it apart. This, the top's already heavy. So, alright, I'll get back with you. Alright, we're back for a little while. Um, got quite a bit done here so far. Behind me is the, the first table, it's all glued up. I gotta trim the edges. I'm gonna bust out another table and uh, get a coat of stain on that. Um, I got some like reddish looking stuff. I don't know if I wanna use that. I got the I got the walnut, it's for another project, but I might I might I might use anyway, I, I'm gonna do that. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to flip the camera around now. No, maybe I'm not. So, anyway, I've got the second table all glued up. Um, I wish I wished I would have done it on the bigger one, it, just having dowels just to line it up because it worked out a lot better. I mean, it was a pain in the butt here and there, but um, it lined up a lot better. Um, so, I learned a lesson on that one. Something something that big have doll pins just at least just to line it up uh, it, it's still not perfectly straight but a lot closer than what it was and i flip flopped the board on the stake but that's all right we'll just hit it with the sander and then over here we got the legs got the legs all glued up they're ready to go I'll probably leave them in the clamps until later on, um, towards the evening. I uh, found I got a little bit more wood out of the out of the jeep to clean up. And look what I found! Another live edge. Uh, I cut that, but it was way out too far. Was it? So I just kind of. Live edge, fake live edge. So, yeah, just too much to do in, in, in order to get um, a full video on one table. The jig, I liked working with the jig. Um, it wasn't too bad. Um, not all of them lined up because I got in a rush and got ahead of myself, so whatever it is what it is but I got those uh, got those glued up everything's glued up I'm gonna break this table out get this thing ready to go and get some stain on it and uh, then after that we'll clean some clean some barn wood up on the joiner get to have fun with the joiner again so yeah we'll see you in a little while later all right, you two, we're going to wrap it up for today. Um, I didn't get any staining done. I got the, the second table clamped up. I got some more barn wood cleaned up for the entertainment center. And uh, some cleanup. So that's, that's about all I got, I got finished up. So tomorrow, we'll start a new video. And uh, we have to cut some legs up for, uh, for the second table and get the second table ready and get some more barn wood. We got to get some more barn wood cooked up. Um, get these three projects out of the way so we can do the next two tables and get these, hopefully, get these dressers started, one of them anyway, and uh, get some room in here. Uh, stopped and done some cleanup in the man cave because uh, sawdust made its way in there and it was getting kind of messy. So 
I took some time and cleaned up on that. And uh, that's that's about it. That's about all the all the time that I had for today. I didn't even fire up the joiner. I was kind of looking a little bit forward to it. But we got some more. Uh, I resawed some of the the barn wood, and uh, and that turned out pretty nice. I, I, I let me grab a piece real quick. about an inch and a quarter thick. It's going to be a top for a entertainment center, about five foot long, five foot two inches, something like that. Um, come out pretty good. Really nice straight wood. Uh, really happy with it. So I'm looking forward to getting some more jointed up and uh, cleaned up so we can make some. I wish I had a little bit. Some of it was a little bit longer, but that's all I could. That's all I could fit in the Jeep. So, but luckily I know where to get some more barn wood. And uh, it's a little bit more expensive to buy it, but I know where to get some if I gotta, if I gotta get it. Um, so that's about it for today. We're gonna put these like four little videos together and uh, I'm gonna get it going on uh, old editing and get it on YouTube. So um, I got I got another subscriber. So thanks a lot. I uh, appreciate it. Uh, I need I need you to comment, subscribe, share, and like. Um, still having fun. 26, 27. I I, I have to look again, but yup. Um, and uh, yeah, so we'll start a new video tomorrow. YouTube. Uh, have a good night. Be blessed, and see you tomorrow.